Alright guys, since Asphalt Legends Unite was announced a few days ago, a ton of extra information has been added to the list of things that, as far as I'm aware, will be changed with this massive game expansion, so today I will not only show you all small details you may have missed on the trailers, as well as other changes expected to arrive, but I will show you all guys the implications some changes related to Asphalt Legends Unite may have on the game and on the entire Asphalt saga, so with nothing else to add, let's get into it. The first thing you need to know is that Asphalt Legends Unite is not a new Asphalt game, which basically means that you won't have to start from scratch by the time it arrives on July 17th, 2024. All what you will have to do is update Asphalt Night Legends, so you could basically consider Asphalt Legends Unite as a massive update which will change a ton of things on Asphalt 9, but that's basically it. Instead of making a new game, Gabelove decided to take what works for them and upgraded it to a completely different level with the intentions to keep the development of what we know today as Asphalt. Asphalt 9 Legends for as many years as possible, adding new features, cards and that stuff without the massive cost that imply the fact of developing a completely new game from zero. Talking about new games, now that everyone understood that Asphalt Legends Unite is not a new game, I think it's safe to say that, as I told you all guys on a video a few months back, a theoretical Asphalt 10 will never see the sunlight, but not because it was being developed, which it wasn't by the way, as some sources confirm already, but basically because it makes way more sense from an economical standpoint to keep developing a product that you know it has more future rather than creating something new that could be a complete failure. Asphalt 9 proved Gameload the potential it has and if you think about it guys, Asphalt 9 already had one of the best graphics available for mobile devices, which now will be taken to an entire new level once it gets updated to Asphalt Legends Unite. So why developing a new game that could look quite the same since there is a point where graphics can you know, get any better on mobile devices, but that had no guaranteed success as Asphalt 9 already had? That's why it's a fact that a theoretical Asphalt 10 or something like that will likely never arrive. So get ready guys because we have Asphalt 9 or Asphalt Legends Unite for many years to come. Okay, so now let's focus on Asphalt Legends Unite graph. Those have been significantly improved as you can see on the car shadows and light reflections on the floor concrete, which makes Asphalt Legends Unite look quite unique compared to what we were used to at Asphalt 9 Legends. I mean, don't get me wrong, Asphalt 9 has a really solid graphics and I got the chance to experience them at their max potential, but a quick look at the few clips Asphalt Legends Unite gameplay that were released by Gameload is enough to understand that once that Asphalt Legends Unite arrives, it will set a completely new standard of mobile devices. Of course, that raised questions about which requirements will the game have in order to run properly, and here I think it's safe to say that for low and mid-end devices there will be problems since, you know, the graphic improvement is huge. It's safe to say that some kind of optimization has been implemented already, of course, but here we have to be realistic, guys, because the game may be slightly harder to run on the same amount of devices it used to be possible to do so in the past, and that's something it's important to keep in mind for the future, since there is still plenty of time until the official release. Okay, but what about the progression? Will it be easier for newcomers to progress and obtain cards in Asphalt Legends Unite than it is right now on Asphalt 9 Legends? Well, guys, I'm happy to tell you that yes, if you start playing the game right after Asphalt Legends Unite launch, there will be likely more options for beginners to catch up those players who have been playing before the release, especially given the fact that there will be a ton of new players from, from PS4 and PS5 who will need a bit more comprehensive beginning than the one newcomers are getting right now. So yeah, expect it an easier and faster way of progressing within the game once that Asphalt Legends Unite arrives, especially through career. If you have been playing Asphalt 9 before the release, then you have an advantage. Since Asphalt Legends Unite is like a massive update, so you will be able to enjoy the exact same progress you are playing with on Asphalt 9 at Asphalt Legends Unite. No accounts will be eliminated and that stuff, so you will be able to enjoy your Asphalt 9 progress on the new game expansion, without losing any card, tokens or whatever. Now that I mentioned progress, I will explain you all guys how the crossplay will work step by step once the Asphalt Legends Unite arrives. Ok, so right now only Windows and Steam users have access to something called Gameloft ID, which is an option to save your progress, just like Google Play, Facebook and that stuff. You can link your Asphalt 9 progress to a Gameloft ID account following a few easy steps and once that crossplay arrives, all what you will have to do if you want to use your Asphalt 9 progress on a different platform is to log in, in that new platform using the Gameloft ID account to which your progress has been linked to 
and it's as easy as that. Android and iOS users will be able to connect their accounts to Gameloft IB at some point before Asphalt Legends Unite arrives, so make sure to subscribe to my channel because as soon as I get some news about this, I will let you know. However, there is something PlayStation and Nintendo Switch users should know. In both of these platforms, there will be crossplay but not cross save. What do I mean by this? Well, basically that PlayStation and Nintendo Switch players will be able to match players from other platforms like Android, iOS or Windows in multiplayer and events and that stuff, but they won't be able to move their accounts from PlayStation slash Nintendo Switch to an Android, iOS or Microsoft device and same happens the other way around. If you have uh, your account, let's say, for example, in Android, you won't be able to open it on any PlayStation or Nintendo Switch, only on iOS and Windows, aside from Android, of course. I don't think this is game lot foul, by the way, but more like a Sony and Nintendo's issue due to their policies and that stuff, you know. But now let's have a look at the details we can appreciate during the trailer, and which some of you guys may have missed. The first thing that calls for our attention is that in not a single frame of all the trailers released by Gameloft so far we can see credits or tokens. I mean, we can see which currencies can we use on the game, which I don't think is a coincidence. Let's remember that at the end, Asphalt Legends Unite has been carefully planned, so it's like quite unlikely that there are coincidences like the ones I'm about to show you all guys. For example, we have got two trailers, but in none of them we could see anything related to Overclock, which is one of Asphalt 9 newest features which appear at the garage view of cars, like this one of the Lamborghini Countach 2022, but that in none of the trailers seems to appear. Coincidence? If so, what an unlucky one though. Another interesting detail is at half a frame of the first teaser, Right when it focuses into the Legends Pass, you can see this corner of our reward through the transition animation and yes, that right there is no more and no less than our reward icon of Season Tokens. What if the Season Tokens reappear on Asphalt Legends Unite? In case you didn't know, Season Tokens was a currency that could only be used during a season and that after it, it will be reset to zero and the excedent of those uh, season tokens that you couldn't use converted into tokens, up to a limit of 2000 tokens per season. It was removed by Gameloft but they say they didn't throw away the idea completely and seems like this extremely hidden detail on the trailer could be a wink about a potential comeback at Asphalt Legends Unite. At last but not least, during the second trailer we can appreciate some small gameplay clips and it might not be that clear there, but physics in Asphalt Legends Unite won't be the exact same ones as the Asphalt 9 Legends ones. Between the new graphics and the new engine, the game expansion may introduce small adjustments to the physics engine, which it doesn't mean that the physics will be completely different once that Asphalt Legends Unite arrives, but if I were you guys, I would expect small changes on minor things. Oh, and now that I remember, Nintendo Switch physics will be completely changed so they match the same physics as all the other platforms in order to create an equal environment for all the players regardless of their platform. Platform. But those so far were the most important details I think not everyone found about while looking at the trailers. At the trailers other things were mentioned which I think that everyone knows at this point, like a new Cops vs Crooks game mode which honestly is not that interesting to me if I'm being completely honest right here, as well as the new garage levels and user interface which everyone knows at this point I guess, as well as the new Singapore track at night time which I'm sure will look incredibly dope. But now that I mentioned the user interface, I need to tell you something guys, the Asphalt 9 developers are smart, and same as they hit a code, a redeemed code on the first trailer which I discovered at my livestream while reacting to the first trailer as it was released, they hit some hints on the trailers, but keep in mind that there is also a ton of straw before finding the needle. For example, all the special events displayed at the second trailer may not be aligned to the game at all, as one of the community managers already said calling them placeholders. That's why I didn't mention the brutal difference in rank points the Lamborghini Countach 2022 has on the garage view, because if you look closely you will realize that the car that appears right on top of the stats belong to the Mercedes AMG GT Black Series, not to the Lamborghini Countach. One way or another, stay tuned guys as more trailers will appear, hopefully with new information and hints to look at. Thank you so much for watching, make sure to drop your epic like and subscribe in order to not to miss one single video about any new that could pop up. I will see you really soon with much more Asphalt 9 or Asphalt Legends Unite content depending on how it goes. Goodbye guys!